असलकुम अच्छा जी आज और एक्शन वीडियो पर हम आपको खुश आमदीद कहते हैं तो चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं I'm getting really good vibes. Very green, pretty damn clean and the roads are pretty nice. Soda. Wow, very uh intense taste straight away. Oh, how much for that? Oh, this is a gift for you. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no Thank problem. you. That cheese? Okay. Yummy, yummy. Oh yeah. So fresh. Wow. Oh, bro, you don't have to pay. No, you're the guest, you know. After a fun past couple of days here in Karachi, it's time to head up to the capital Islamabad. We're flying with PIA Airlines, which my friends have told me uh, aren't actually the best of airlines. So it's going to be interesting seeing what that is all about. Uh, but yeah, super excited to head up to the capital. From what I've heard and from what the comments have told me, uh, Karachi is, um, you know, one of the uh, not so nice of places for tourists. So I'm super excited to go up to the north part of Pakistan because that was where my trip was originally meant to, you know, be primarily based. Due to logistical reasons, I just came into Karachi for a few days just to uh, meet up with a few people and uh, get some content. We'll probably uh, see you when I land in Islamabad. Thank you. Good afternoon from Islamabad. Uh, you know, something that's really refreshing is walking out of an airport and not being hassled by uh, touts and stuff. So. Props to Islamabad and it didn't really happen in Karachi either but one thing that I've learnt so far in my time at Pakistan is uh, two things. Number one, don't film in airports, uh, that's why I'm out, you know, outside of the airport. And number two is that there is a very useful app called Kareem, uh, basically the Uber of, uh, of Pakistan and uh, my Kareem driver is somewhere here, we're looking for uh, 8858. And uh, so we'll give him a text. So I've told him uh, parking 16 because you can see like all the numbers parking. That's parking 16. So hopefully he'll put two and two together and we can be there. PIA Airlines, first of all, it, I was going to give it a uh, like an eight out of 10. And it was just like, you know, just good, cheap. Got the job. It is a really amazing temperature right now. And I'm getting really good vibes. You know, good vibes. Looks absolutely beautiful out there. Um, but yeah, I should probably focus on getting this Kareem ride sorted. Assalamu alaikum. As I've mentioned, uh, it's very good walking out of an airport and you know, I saw a huge crowd of people and I was expecting like to be hassled a lot, uh, but no, like no, not even one person came up to me asking if I need a lift or anything. So it's really refreshing as a tourist um, to, to not have that experience. So props to you as Lombard. and as I said, it didn't really happen in Karachi either. So, um, you know, Pakistan, you're doing well. Making tourists feel comfortable in your country. From what I've heard, uh, Islamabad is obviously the capital of Pakistan, but um, it's very, it's, I guess, a lot better than Karachi. <laughs> Karachi is like the financial hub, but it does lack a lot of uh, infrastructure. The streets are dirty, but, you know, based off of my first looks right now, pretty damn clean and the roads are pretty nice and it's very green. You know, Karachi is a lot browner, dirt. <laughs> There's not much wildlife, but it just looks so kind of like just beautiful. Oh wow, look at the mountains. You probably won't be able to see it, but oh wow. That is beautiful. I did not expect that. I did not know Islamabad had mountains. It is a lot it is very clean in Islamabad. Karachi is very dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the roads are amazing. Maybe because we are just coming straight out of the airport. But look at all the greenery as well. It's so just luscious. All right, we are watching my vlogs while we are driving. <laughs> he likes it. Funny thing, in like Australia, if we were to be on your mobile like that while driving, literally like we would lose like five demerit points and it would be like an $800 fine, which is crazy. But obviously it's like for, the, for your safety. But again, like I'm really um, impressed with like the roads here. No potholes. <laughs> there's no potholes or there's no, uh, you know, holes in the road. You can drive smoothly and not be bouncing up and down, so. Head 90. 
Nine to you. Assalamu alaikum. I will just grab my bags and I uh, wish you a good day. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thanks, bro. Oh. All right. So, this is the new crib for a few nights. I just can't. This is like so. There's grass. <laughs> I mean, I've been in Karachi for the past five days. There's no grass in Karachi. Thank you so much. Down here? Ah, oh, straight. There is a, I have to check in and passport. Passport? Mm. Money? Mm. Eh? Mm. Okay. Thank you. Shukriya. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> well, that is probably the easiest check-in you will ever have in your life. This place is very nice. For a room review, so just for context, this is about 3,000 Pakistani rupees, so around, I mean, whatever 32 Australian dollars is. So that's how much it is. And it's like, honestly, this is probably, depending on how the bathroom is, just like at a first glance, this is 100% better than what I was staying in previously for like $55. And I think this is more like a home place. I think this is an actual home and this is just like a spare room, but they also, you know, give out Oh, you get chocolates? Okay, it already beats the other place. <laughs> Alright. Well, what do we have in here? Hopefully nothing. It smells, uh, it smells of fresh new paint. Let's, um, check if there's anything in the drawers. Again, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be wanting things in these drawers. Like, there shouldn't be anything, so it's a good sign that there's nothing. Fan works. All right, bathroom. Wow, this is actually so nice. <laughs> you got some uh, hair products, some soap, got a towel, you got your toilet, you got the bum gun. Oh, it's so good being back in Asia with the bum gun. They are like, the greatest invention ever. I'm not sure why they're like not adopted all around the world. And uh, let's test the shower. Oh, that's not the shower. <laughs> How do you do this again? I can't remember. Oh, you pull that up. Come on. Go, go, go. Go. There we are. Oh. <laughs> I mean, would you stay here for $30 a night? Compared to the other places I've had, 100% I would. And then, oh, we're right next to uh, the reception. Oh, they even have security. I think there's a couple of common areas, so we'll go out and check those. Oh, wow. Hello, I'm just uh, looking. This is uh, the... What is this? Smoking. smoking area. I do not smoke. Do you smoke? No. No, nah, good, good man. <laughs> this is so, this is so cool. Yes. Are there, are there other guests tonight? Yes. There are guests here? Yes, yes, three rooms. Three rooms, yes. Three rooms guests. Ah, and there is a kitchen? Kitchen this side. Thank you. Oh, wow. Kitchen. Pringles. Very nice. You are the, uh, you look after the home? Uh, only uh, tea and uh, breakfast. Ah, only okay. The tea? Eh? Yeah, I'll have chai. Egg okay. chai. Thank you. I mean, considering what we're getting for $30, you get a kitchen, outside area. And this is nice. This is nice. And then you get a full room. I mean, it's a no-brainer as to why. Like, this is such a popular spot, or it has like such good reviews. So, give it a little bit of a stir, and that is the color that we like to see. Taste test time. What is your chai like, sir, as I look at you through the window? Well, it is incredibly hot, but it tastes damn good. This is where the fun begins when you arrive into a new city and then uh, you get used to all the 
things that are around your accommodation. So uh, I see some some shops here. I'm a little bit hungry, so I'll get a little bite to eat, but um, we'll just go for a little stroll, see what the locals are up to, see what's going on in this, uh, in this little town over here. I guess it's not really a little town, it's the capital of Pakistan, but you know, there's all these things going around. There's a few things to actually do, um, so we'll see what happens. Well, let's start off with something. Salaam Alaikum. What is good? What is your best one? There are, there are lots to choose from. Maybe uh, lemon soda. Let's just go with uh, one lemon soda. One lemon soda. Thank you. Let's see how... Can I film how you make it? I can see how you make it? Yes. Okay. So he's got the cup here. Uh, and, oh. No. I guess him here. Yeah, menu liquor. Menu. What is what is that? This is sugar. Sugar. So he's got the lime. Oh, he's grating. Yeah. Interesting. What is your name? What's your name? Basi. Hello. And this is the soda. What does that say in English? That is Urdu? How do you pronounce the name? <laughs> Ooh. And what is that? Mint. Oh, it smells very nice. Oh, ice. Very loud. <laughs> what is that stuff? Salt. Salt. Yeah. And he adds the mint. Yeah. Just for, for decoration. Uh, as, as, oh, decoration. Yeah. All right. Wow, it looks very good, bro. I was expecting it to just be uh, soda and lemon, but it has turned out to be a masterpiece. And we're even served it on a platter. Thank you. Shukriya. All right, well, let's uh, sit over here and embark on the lemon soda journey. Now, lemon soda with a plastic straw. Very uh, intense taste straight away. Oh, it is it's so refreshing, you know. I'm really vibing the weather that here, is here in Islamabad. It's so much cooler than what it was in, was in Karachi. And you can really taste the mint as well. That's actually, oh, that is nice. You can taste the orange, the lime. Mmm. When I travel around, you know, Asia and places like that, I never know if I should be drinking ice. Ice is like commonly known to be like not that safe to drink as a tourist, especially somebody that hasn't traveled for a year. But I feel like Islamabad looks damn clean. It, it looks so clean and all these like cool little hot areas. Like how cool is this thing? Just to uh, be drinking your lemon lime soda. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's safe to say, safe to drink. We'll know in a matter of days if I'm uh, on the toilet for 24 hours, but I think it's all good. Thank you, brother. That was very delicious. No, you think I should wear some? Maybe I can put it on my ear. <laughs> you can put it on your nose, you know, life is yeah, about changes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe. You have yeah, no, yeah. you have nose rings? Yeah, I have nose rings. Really? I'm sure, yeah. Sure one. It is not normal to have a nose ring in Pakistan, no? Mm. Only for females, right? Yeah, but some of the boys, you know, wear, but very oh, really? little, uh, very, like 1% or 0.5%. Oh. Yeah. Which country are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia. What color? Is this yeah. silver at the moment? Yeah, this is it's silver. silver? I, can't, yeah. I can't even remember. Yeah. I've had this for many years. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should change it, bro. Yeah. Maybe just a different color, like black or... Black purple, blue, or maybe a different design if you are interested. 
to see a different design with a small ball. Mm. So how long have oh. you been here? Uh, one week. One week. Okay. Well, this is this is my first time in Islamabad. I've been in Karachi. Okay. So, anything you want to drink for you? You are also a guest, you know. You want to drink? Well, I, I just had a, uh, a a lemon soda. Okay. You're too kind, bro. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what color I should get. Uh, Maybe blue. Let's go for something outrageous. Let's go. How much is a one? Ek. One. How much? How many pieces you want to buy? Honestly, probably just one. Okay. Which color? Blue. Uh, how much for that? No, this is a gift for you. No, <laughs> brother. No problem. Why you? Man, Pakistan yeah. is honestly the friendliest country I've ever been to. I really okay. like, honestly, thank you're you. so good. No, thank you, bro. Yeah, no thank problem. you so much. So you want to see more jewelry also? We also have a shop at the basement of the ECS. Where ECS? is the ECS? Yeah. Oh, the ECS is over yeah. there. Yeah. Maybe at in the, the basement, future. Anytime if you want to come or make a video of the jewelry, you know, Pakistani traditional jewelry like these. Oh yeah, they this? wear them for like weddings yeah, and stuff weddings. like that. And this wrong? This is known as Jumka. Ah. This is traditional of subcontinent like Bangladesh, yeah. India and Pakistan. This is very traditional design. This is the biggest size, but they also wear it casually. There are small sizes also there. Okay, also, do people ever wear these for non-weddings? Yeah, this was they wear for non-weddings, but we have different sizes, you know? Yeah. Like this one. Oh, that this is... This one is party wear. Okay. And I will show you the casual wear as well. Oh, this is a lot. Yeah, this is for this casual, is casual, casual wear. This is casual wear. Yeah. I see. We have switched. We have swapped positions. <laughs> I am now selling to you. <laughs> I am the jewelry man. Yeah. Uh, where can I get some street food? Uh, street food. You just go straight from there. Uh huh. At the, the, that's known as Gold Market, Round Market. Okay. Yeah, that's the main street food. You know, if you want to eat anything, be my guest. If you want to. We we'll go now. Uh, or uh. uh what do you want to? Well. Eat? I I wanted to eat a corn on a cob. Corn on yeah, a cob? Yeah, corn on a cob. It is a really bizarre thing for me to eat, but I just want to try it. Oh. Or anything. Maybe maybe I'll go for a walk and I will, I will decide, okay? What about uh, paratha? Okay, yeah, paratha. Uh, what kind of paratha you like? Like, any, I love paratha. Anything. Uh, I am a little sorry because I cannot come. You just come with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you are working, of course you cannot yeah, come. I'm working and you know, my <laughs> other brother has to come and I have to go for the prayer also, you ah, know. Ah, okay. You, we pray five times a day, you know, so yes, this, this yes. is the third one. What time is the third prayer? Uh, it starts like 4.15 and it ends up like 5.30. Ah. You have time duration for that, you know. Yeah. Oh, is this where they do prata? Yeah, yeah. What kind oh. of prata are you interested? It looks delicious. Yeah. Uh, just maybe cheese prata? Cheese prata? Yes. Cheese prata, Pandala? Yeah. A cheese prata yeah, dinner and what else? Tea? Yeah, chai. Tea? Chai. A chai dinner. How do you like the sugar? Uh, lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. Lots of cheese prata. That is, how sugar? The, that is the Pakistani way, right? Lots yeah. of sugar. Lots of sugar. <laughs> yeah. They will make the prata here? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You want to make the video? Yes, of course. Okay, that prata is made. And what kind of prata is made? Oh, bro, you, you don't have it. to pay. No, you're a guest, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I, I was asking, uh, I'm so sorry, I cannot. No, you don't need to be sorry, bro. You cheese parata de, you chai de. Thank you so much. No, like, you know. <laughs> you're so kind. Um, Amazing. Oh, he is making it now? Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll come visit you again tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you so much, brother. All right, so this is how they make it. Oh, this is what it begins with, right? Turn it out, and then I believe maybe they put all the items in. Oh, he's adding a little bit more dough. Or is that is that cheese? Yeah. Ah. Nice. Up can I get? Mortaza. Mortaza. Chetrali PTI. <laughs> oh, you you are making the chai. Wow, that is hot. Very hot. Oh, thank you, bro. I'll see I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.
Your brother, brother thank you so much. <laughs> All right, it goes on the plate or on the burning pot. I will go around the front. You're doing good? <laughs> oh, these are some cool guys. They're cool. They're cool. Oh. What is that? Kia. What is that? Oil. Oil. Um. Do you have a menu? Menu? I want I want to see what other crafters you can have. Shukriya. Okay, so obviously you have lots of teas. So you can get a beef paratha with some cheese, chicken, kebab paratha, pizza paratha, omelette paratha. Okay, I'm going to be eating here a lot. I'm staying maybe in Islamabad for a few days. And then, oh, there's some good books there as well. Maybe I'll buy a book. This is a, this is a really cool restaurant. I'm going to eat here. I will be a loyal customer. Thank you. All right, let's see. It's starting to brown up and you see the cheese is starting to ooze out. Nice, bro. Yummy, yummy. I'm just gonna chop it. Oh yeah. See, it's just kindness. Literally, it was a two meter walk and they wouldn't let me take it. Thank you so much, brother. All right, everybody. Here is the, look how good that looks. It's kind of like a little pizza. The cheese is oozing. Shukriya. All right. Taste test, everybody. Oh. So fresh. Wow. Thank you. The cheese is amazing. So fresh. And so warm. Wow. Delicious. 100% I'm going to eat here. Every single night. But I'm meeting a jewelry guy who gave me a free nose ring that we're going to put in. Uh, and then asking like a simple question of where I can get some food. And then he comes and buys it for me. Wow. Alright. Well, look how delicious that looks. I'm going to... Uh, finish this off and then we'll get back on with the video. We finished up the Prathra and Chai. Apparently there is a cricket ground just ahead of me. Apparently according to Google Maps and yes there it is. Just look at the mountains yo. I'm gonna hike each and every single one of those mountains in my time here at in Islamabad so super excited for that. Um, look as an Aussie, as an Australian we absolutely love cricket so definitely going to uh, come down here one day and uh, join in with the locals and hit some sixes. Uh, I'm actually used to play cricket, so I'm not trying to brag, but I am like a somewhat decent cricket player. <laughs> um, so it'll be fun challenging the locals. A good old Pakistan versus Australia game. And I can bring in, I can wear my Pakistan cricket t-shirt. So let's go and check out what's going on down here. Unfortunately, no cricket game on behind me, but I'm sure uh, at some point this will be a good ground. It actually looks pretty decent. This is what I'm talking about. Like when you think of, um, after my experience in Karachi, seeing just like basically dirt buildings and roads <laughs> and then you come up into the northern parts look how like luscious this is you got mountains in the background got a nice green cricket pitch like this oval is honestly probably better than like 90 percent of australian grounds <laughs> so um yeah really lush and really naturistic up here what a day it's been i am uh very happy to be here in islamabad back into nature back into the mountains uh, and super excited what this city has to offer over the next couple of days and then we'll make our way up north so super stoked to be here and uh, it actually is just a re really amazing city no wonder uh, so many people come here uh, to travel and to come here to check out what Pakistan's like so Salaam <laughs> Alaikum but uh, yeah we're gonna finish up the video here everybody thank you so much for watching I uh, hope you all enjoy uh, the video and make sure to send me a dm on instagram at Luke's Man, if you have any suggestions on things i should do here or you know things i should do in pakistan because uh, obviously i'm not too familiar with the uh oh, how do i open this uh, there's your dream so to ask me if you do the cheating so, 
नो डाउट नाम बात बहुत खूबसूरत है कांचे लिटिल बिट सारा बस खराब तो आज के लिए यही है मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट रेक्शन वीडियो में बाय